Hey folks, it's Rith Guy here, how you doing? I'm just taking this Belarus and our little road train that we got up to the combine because I've started the combine off cutting the corn up there because quite frankly things are getting desperate. We have run out of corn. Now as the feed, other feed is used up you do get like little bits of corn going in front of the feed area and that's being pushed in by the robot but it is generally dropped it. The power food is almost run out as well. Generally the animals are looking pretty poor because we've spent so much time concentrating on getting our planting done and then we were worrying about getting um, all of the silage done and we we sort of done some of our animals uh, the pigs on the other hand well like I said we've we done some of our animals we did top up our cattle and everything um, but they need to be fed again the pigs uh, that's a little bit different because we have run out of food for them which is why I've started the combine going I need this combine to be running so that I can get some food in for those pigs. This is crucially important. I'm going to take a load now off of the combine and we're going to run it over the pigs. So while we wait for this one to come up, my question for this week. I have got, after this week, another four weeks that I am still going to do this Sosnyovka series and then I'm moving to a new map. So would you like me, for the last four weeks of this series, what is he doing? I have no idea. So yeah, would you like me for the last four weeks of the series to simulate finding 100 gold nuggets? Um, we found the gold nuggets over on Goldcrest Valley. There are no gold nuggets to find on here, so what I'll have to do is I'll have to add a million euros to the account. And then we will use that money to complete the aims that we originally set out to do on this map, which was experience all of the animals. Um, we've got a few other machines that we need to buy from our questions and things like that. Um, and then once we've done all that, we can then move on from here to our new map. Or would you rather I didn't get the million and just carried on the way that we are? I won't be doing a huge number of off-screen contracts um, after this anyway. We'll kind of work with the machinery that we've got. We will try to get a few sheep and hopefully the pigs will be at the point where we can... Um, like, take some... start selling a few because we need to get those up to 400. So, do you want me to get the million euros, or do you want me to um, forget about the million euros and just stick with how we are? It's your vote, it's your game, head into the comment section down below, let us know which one you want and why, and of course don't forget to actually cast your vote in the top right hand corner, it should have come up by now. Uh, why is he stopping so early? I know we have recently updated the game again, so the, um, the issues with the hide help should now be cured. Um, but anyway, I'm going to run this over to the pigs and we'll feed them and then we can get back to doing our silage. Right, we're almost over to the pigs. Um, while we're dashing, oh yeah, I had to get water as well because we were running out of water in the middle of the night. Um, so I've put some water in there, it's not enough to fill it up though. These pigs are going to take a lot of working through. So I have had a few people getting a little bit concerned about the way that this series is going in the comment section and I feel that your fears are justified um, you are right to call me out on this and basically a lot of people are saying I originally started out this was going to be animals um, but it doesn't seem to be animals anymore I seem to be doing lots of arable and other stuff and I'm also going to loads of huge great big machinery um, much the same as Sosnyovka and there now seems to be little because I've uh, much the same as Goldcrest I should say and there now seems to be little to sort of differentiate between this and Goldcrest because it's all big machinery on all of it so wh why are you sort of why is this happening why are you um, changing the way that you're doing things um, in this way and so I'd like to sort of address that because if one or two people have asked the question I always go by the rule that if one person asks the question in the comments um, then there are quite a lot of people that are actually thinking it um, and just haven't actually asked. So I will, there's a few people have been talking about this. Um, basically, I'd like the extra money now so that we can complete the tasks that we were going to do on this map. This map I still view as a animal map, but we do need arable to back up that animal map. We need a load of um, arable stuff to back it up. I'm doing the biogas because the biogas is like an optional extra that uh, I just thought was nice to kind of experience. 
um, just take a look at and just show you how much we've got in here now we have 446,000 litres of chaff um, so I've been quite busy on here I've done a whole load of extra and the Kirovitz is now just over there for the last load I have put it back onto our Massey Ferguson and we're going to do it like this I don't think that I've sort of strayed from my original aims by incorporating the Massey Ferguson into this I think that big machinery goes hand in hand with large quantities of stock I never intended for this to be a small map and let me just start this um, this one up and we will continue to talk about this because I feel that I need to talk about this for a little while um, I don't want people thinking that I've kind of abandoned the original purpose of this series um, and I'd like to sort of address those concerns as well as I can so if we just come along I've only got a little bit left I've got a bit here and there's a bit just the other side of this field um, and then that's most of it I have thoroughly enjoyed using this forager here absolutely brilliant I may use it again on another map I'm not sure yet um, I may try to find a different one with um, try and mix it up a bit do different do things in different ways so I never intended for this map to just be about small machinery although it did sort of seem to be geared that way for quite a long while because we've been building up our money however um, because I changed the way that Goldcrest was being run I said to start with this was going to be animals and Goldcrest was going to be arable then I had quite a lot of people saying it would be nice if I could run a really long series. Everybody seems to stop their series like episode 40 or 50. Um, but you don't have any really long running ongoing sagas on the same map. So I said to address that a little bit I would run 100 episodes at least on Goldcrest. And I may run it a little bit longer. I may move on to a different map and then do say 200 episodes on a different map. I don't know yet. I haven't really thought that far ahead. Um, but in order to be able to run a series for that length of time, I can't just do arable. It'd be the same thing over and over and over, and there's no real story, no point to it. Um, it wouldn't be enjoyable. There's no reason for you to come back and watch my channel again when you've already seen that episode, right? I can't do the same episode in 20 episodes time and expect you to want to come back and watch that. That's an that's un unreasonable expectation. I need to provide new and fresh content for you. So in order to accomplish that with Goldcrest, I've expanded to include the animals as well. I'm still going to be primarily arable on Goldcrest, but I have expanded now to animals. So for the last couple of weeks, we've been concentrating on cows and we're doing a lot of baling and stuff like that. Um, while we've been introducing the new Welga baler and then the auto load trailer and so on and so forth um, but that's kind of we've run that through and the cattle are now there and they're established so we won't be spending that much time on them we've done a lot to them and we'll sort of visit them periodically and we're now going to go back to arable and there's a few other things that we want to do on Goldcrest here on Sosnovka in order to really accomplish what I'd like to do we're going to need a bit more money um, I want to get those pigs up to 400, but I want to keep them at 100% productivity if I can. So the way I see it, I said that we would get field 23 and 25. So we're going to buy those two fields and we'll, um, we'll possibly join them together. I don't know if we're going to be able to do that. that. That's probably, to be honest, with just four weeks to go, not going to be a realistic expectation to join the two fields together. So we might just leave them as they are. Um, but what we could do is um right now i've got to try and swing around you can't really swing this one very tight when you're going that direction you can go around the other way you can't go this way so we're going to have to try turning this one backing it up like this i'm not very good at backing with a double um swivel it's one of my weak points when it comes to driving right, there we go um so yes if we're going to um, move on, I don't think that we can join those two fields together, but we've got the two fields and they will be able to provide us with some more grains for our pigs. It's mostly it's going to be about the pigs. We need the food for the pigs. Um, so those two fields will help to provide what the pigs need. They're still not going to be able to provide everything, so we will need to top it up. And so the way I kind of looked at it was that we would plant possibly harvest field 23 and 25 once before the end of the series 
Um, but mostly what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to set up a way to buy in bulk pig food and take it to the pigs. So we're going to use a lot of the million dollars or I will have to do a few extra jobs or maybe the money that we get from selling the silage. I don't know yet. Um, but we'll use that to fund paying for the pig food. And um, so it's, it's going to be based around the animals. And I want to keep it based around the animals. I don't want you thinking that I'm just doing the same thing here as I am over in Goldcrest. I'm really not trying to do that. And yes, I am getting some bigger machinery, but um, Goldcrest and any series that follows on from it is going to be... I kind of picture one of my series running a small to medium map, which is this one at the end of the week. And then one of my series running a medium to large map, which is at the beginning of the week. Um, so far, Goldcrest and Sosnyovka, I would class as sort of medium to large maps. So I've been running this one as a medium map, and I've been running Goldcrest as a medium map, and now I'm sort of hoping to sort of start pushing Goldcrest towards a slightly larger map. Right, we've got a full tank over on our hired help, but we don't need to worry about that now. We've got the corn in here. So that's back up to 95%, which is good. This one is on 100%, but we've got 138 litres of power food left. That is going to be a top priority. I might actually do, because I've already showed you that a few times now. Um, I think at the end of this episode, before next week, I will go and just top up the power food a little bit. Um, and we'll put a little bit of straw. We're very limited on straw. That's one thing we're very limited on now. Um... We, we're going to have to plant some crops next that will provide us with some straw and hopefully the pigs and the cattle will have enough. We do have some piled up in the shed down there, but I don't know if that's going to be enough. I hope it is. But anyway, um, so I'm kind of picturing that we would move on from here to a medium to small sized map. Um, I've been asking people for suggestions. Old Streams has come up quite a few times and I think that would be a beautiful follow on to this map. So Old Streams is currently my favourite for following on to this map. I know that Old Streams has had some um, good exposure already, and I said that I wanted ones that hadn't had a lot, but so far, from what I've seen, Old Streams would seem to be a really good follow-on. We could sort of move on to that one, and we wouldn't be able to go for the large machinery. So I think that that would address some people's concerns that we uh, seem to be focusing too much on getting big gear and re really ramping it up. We won't be able to do that on Old Streams. Old Streams is a focus on small machines. Um, so we would have to use the smaller gear and sort of farm it like that. That would be perfect. That would be absolutely beautiful. Um, so that we would use the small to medium range machinery that is available. We would still... Uh, I was considering trying something like the old times map that I did where I only used pre-1980s machinery. Um... I probably won't do a series like that again. Um, it was a lot of fun when I did it, but I like the option of having the newer machinery as well, so I'll probably run it more along the lines of it's a small farm, so buying second-hand cheap old machinery is a very real possibility and probably something that would happen a lot, but it's not something that we're tied to. We can use some new machinery as well, which would be really cool. Um, so that is something that I'm sort of looking at and can, you know, all, all things that I'm considering. And let me unhitch that one there. We'll just move this one down and then we'll pull the trailer in. I don't have a leveller and I'm not going to worry about getting a leveller either. We're just going to run backwards and forwards over the pit with the tractor in order to roll this one out. Um, yeah, so i tell you what, I'm wondering if I should go and get that combine emptied so that that field can continue and then the combine can move back down to the other end and continue with its harvest down there. Might be worthwhile in a minute. Um, so I'm, I hope that I've sort of set some of your concerns to rest a little. I'm definitely not wanting to have my two maps running the same, right? I don't like the idea of that at all. There's no point in running two separate series if I'm just going to repeat the same stuff over and over. Um, so the Goldcrest and what follows on from Goldcrest, it won't be Rattlesnake on a Let's Play. I'll try something else, but I'm hoping for a big map. Um, um, I think that would be very, very cool if we could do that. And why is this not allowing me to tip that last 10? That's going to be, let's just decide it's going to be grass, hasn't it? 
going to have to tip that somewhere else. Um, so, yes, I don't want to repeat. I don't want to just have the same stuff. This is going to be like the medium to small. And something like Old Stream, um, whether it is Old Stream or whether it's a different one, remains to be seen. And there we can focus on middle range and small machines, old machines. Probably it would have been a little bit um, better if I'd used the small baler on this map, but I already had other plans for this map and I didn't think that I could fit it in, which is why I put the small baler over on Goldcrest. Um, ordinarily, I would say that this end of the week, the end of the week series is the one for the small stuff, so we'll probably see the Welga baler again. Uh, but it will be on this map rather than on the bigger one at the beginning of the week. Really, you know, if I should be using the trailer to sort of tow backwards and forwards here, I don't think that's quite fitting, really, is it? I think we'll um, unhitch the trailer just off down here. And while I'm at it, I will run over and empty out that combine. And then we can come back over here and continue rolling this down. And hopefully we get this sheeted before the end of the ser uh, series, end of the episode. Okay, I have emptied out the combine and it is going again and we are now going to do some rolling. This is not the most exciting of jobs, but uh, we can do this for a little while. Um, so, yes, I'm sort of telling this in response to a few people's comments in the comment section about how they were a bit concerned with what they thought was going on on the map, um, what I was doing with the different series. Um, and I would just like to say, I really do like it when you offer me criticism on what's going on. I appreciate you taking the time to tell me what you think is going wrong with the series or any concerns that you might have. You, what, why are you doing this, Frith? Um, what's your thought process behind doing so-and-so? I really like that, this constructive criticism. You cannot grow without criticism. As I've always believed that I cannot grow without criticism. If I don't know what parts that people don't like, um, I can't address. I can't address it. I can't do something about it. Uh, that's not to say I want all of your comments from now on to be, "Oh my God, Frith, you suck." Uh, that's not constructive. Um, quite frankly, it's not very nice. Uh, but if you said, "Good gracious, Frith." I really didn't like it when you did that because then I know the reasoning behind it and I can either address your concern and hopefully set your mind at rest or I can adjust what I've done in order to um, sort of move things on. Um, Helper C has completed. Right, well that's the combining done. This compacting is going to take a while. And I think it is, but I think it's quicker to go out each end and then come back down through. If we had two clamps here, it'd be a lot quicker because we could do both of them at the same time, just run around in a great big circle. I've done that before, actually. I did that in FS15 several times when I was working on the biogas plant on the Bjornholm map. Uh, so, yeah, please criticise if there is things that you are concerned about. Um, please let me know um, and... Once again, any abusive, offensive comments, as always, um, I don't even have to take the time to delete them. I've got it set up so that if comments contain abusive or offensive words that I think are going to upset a lot of people, they're automatically removed from the comments section and disposed of. So please, if you're going to spend the time to write out a, a detailed list of complaints or concerns or whatever it might be, uh, don't put any abusive words in there because otherwise I won't see it. Um, and neither will anyone else. Uh, so, yeah. Please offer me the, the criticism and tell me what you think is going wrong and what you think is going right. You know, because at the same time, I, I do like to know what you like and what you've enjoyed about it. It's not just, I don't just want you to switch to um, telling me all the faults with it now. I'm, I'm well aware that I have many, many faults, probably too many to list. And most of them you haven't yet encountered. <laughs> But um, I still want to hear what's going wrong. I'd like to keep my channel moving in a positive direction. I'd like to keep everybody... Or no, you, you can't please everybody, I know that. Um, but I'd like to at least please as many of you as I can by getting as much right as I can. And so I sort of think that this is how we're going to do it. So that being said, uh, there's a rather long spiel on all of that. Um, 
What I think is that after the four weeks, when we move on to the new map, um, I could probably safely say now that uh, we are getting the million, the extra million euros on this map because everybody just about has voted yes. I've had a few people say no, that I shouldn't, but generally the vote is going towards yes. So it looks like we're getting the million. Um, we'll be using it to buy the extra land that we said that we would get, and uh, we said that we would get a big baler. Um, but what else did we say? I can't remember what else we said we were going to get now. We we're going to get a big baler, and I think we were going to get the Arcusan stacker, the um, the 16 bale stacker. So I can't remember how much the two fields are going to cost us. And then we got the big baler and the stacker that we got to buy, and of course we've got to buy the quad bike, and that's only 22,000. Uh, because we've had that leased, we were testing it out, and we said that we would buy it. So we're going to buy that one. And then after that, I want to. I was thinking of expanding the cattle, but I'm not putting expanding the cattle as a priority. We can do that on the next map if we want to. We can concentrate on cattle first and get them built up to say 100 cows or something, and then um, expand out into other animals. I think that could be a good way to start off the next map. Um, we we need to get these pigs dealt with the pigs are eating far more food than we can produce so i'm going to be looking at um ways to feed the pigs um preferably mods that allow us to buy pig food in bulk so that we can get it back to the pigs i'm going to take a look at what's available i know there is a mod that you can tip corn into a thing and it basically gives you more corn because it uh, simulates using the cobs as well, something like that. Um, I thought it was all right, but it, it didn't sort of it didn't grab me. It was, you know, it's, sometimes you look at a mod and you think, "Wow, that is really cool. I really like that one." Like one that has just come up on the mod hub, which is the wood chips one. Basically, when you're doing any uh, chainsawing or anything like that, it produces a pile of wood chips underneath where you're working. Fantastic. Simulate sawdust. I thought that was really good. I really like that one. Um, so, yeah. I'll, I'll have a look at the um, the pig food mods and see what I can find, and um, we'll use that uh, to make sure that we keep our pigs at 100% all the way through. Um, what else did I want to say? There was, I'm sure there was something else. Um, oh, the, the whole animal arable thing. Um, we said originally that this was going to be an animal map, and then Goldcrest was going to be arable. And yes, I'm looking at the beginning of the week series focusing on arable, and then this end of the week we'll have a lot of animal stuff. But because I'm going for big and small farms mostly, um, I don't think we need to sort of say exclusively that we're going to focus on arable or animal. I, I still think that we were kind of setting up and establishing what we were doing with these two series to start with, and then moving on from there. And the Goldcrest one is now sort of turning into large scale production. So big scale for whatever it is that we're going to do is on Goldcrest and whatever series follows on. So lots of cows, lots of pigs, although we are doing a, a ridiculous amount of pigs on this map at the moment. Um, and the great big machinery to go alongside it, to complement that. Whereas this map um, I know at the moment that Sosnovka is really a map for big gear, isn't it? It's a big open map, it's um, like almost prairie fields. Uh, Eastern Europe has some massive great big open areas um, where they run some very big scale machinery. So I didn't really intend to go big scale on this one and future maps will focus more on the medium to small range. But that's medium to small range on arable and... Um, animal husbandry as well so it'll be the sheep the pigs the cattle but on a smaller scale so we won't be using the huge machinery the pecan mixer for example that we've just got on goldcrest we will not be using a pecan mixer on this end of the week it's just not something that would be suitable um, even if we start out the next map with 100 cows i would picture 100 cows to be the absolute maximum whereas the big scale we could probably go up to five six hundred cows and it not be completely unrealistic. Um, so yeah, I still want to. Um, obviously, I still want to hear about your suggestions for maps because next week I will be asking you which map you want us to move on to. Um, and there's a few different maps that have been suggested. There's some uh, rather obscure little maps as well that I think are really awesome that I have been hearing about. 
and I'm very very pleased to be hearing about those maps I think they are fantastic um, old streams is definitely one that is going to be one of the choices um, and I'd like to hear about any others that you would consider to be a really good follow-on to this one now I am sure that by now you are bored to tears with listening to me and watching me just drive up and down doing the same bit so I'm going to finish rolling this clamp and then I will get back to you so that we can sheet it down and say fare thee well until next week and I hope that I have allayed some of your concerns about what's happening with both of my series and I decided to try the follow me out again um, we've got the Kirovitz following us it's doing all right but the Kirovitz turning circle is quite big so I'm struggling to sort of get him to come round and meet me at the other end I'm having to do quite a wide it's this end that I sort of struggle with I can come round there and he goes right up against the wall and he gets a little bit stuck um, so long as I don't turn too sharp on this bit he's usually okay and I'll come in there uh, hopefully he can figure that one out and he won't go and get hung up on the wall. He does keep getting hung up on the wall, that's the issue. Right, comes around there, that should be okay. I come flying down here. See, it's looking lovely and level now all the way across. That is a beautifully rolled clamp. Absolutely perfect. Right, that's 100% compaction. I'll just show you how I get around this end. You come over here, come around tight. The trailer's moved because the Kirovic side swiped the back of it and um, tried to take him out. So let's come back over here again just to make sure it is absolutely squished down flat. And we'll park up down this end and then we can um, sheet it down. So my question for this week is, do you want me to simulate finding 100 gold nuggets on this map? I know that we don't actually have any gold nuggets on this map. So what I'll have to do is um, I will have to just add a million dollars to our account, a million euros rather, to our account and with that money i will use it to do sensible things i will buy the land that we said we were going to buy um fields 23 and 25 come through here yeah those two fields there i said that i would buy so i will buy those two i will buy a big baler and i'll buy an artisan stacker which is all things i said i would get i don't think there's very much else that i said that i would get that i haven't gone and got yet um I did ask you if you wanted me to do some forestry at some point, but I don't think that was actually a weekly question. We've planted some trees up uh, here near the lumber yard, so we will try and get those harvested before we finish up this series. Um, so, yeah, for now, do you want me to get the million euros or not? Head into the comment section down below and let us know what you want. It's your vote. It's your game. And also, don't forget to actually vote by ca um, mousing over in the top right-hand corner so you can actually cast your vote there. Um, most of the million will be taken up buying these fields, the baler and the artisan. What's left over will go towards making sure that the pigs are properly fed. Because if you look here, we're starting to struggle. But if we buy pig food, it's going to fill up everything. Um, we do have some sugar beet that are now ready to harvest. Those ones there. Uh, growth, they are now ready to have the tops removed. So we'll be doing that next week. We've got sugar beet that we need to harvest up there. And we've all right, let me just sheet this one down. So we're gonna blanket the silo. There we go. We now have silage. We've done some silage. Absolutely brilliant. And we have got over four hundred thousand litres of silage, which we are going to need to put in there. We'll be using conveyor belts to do that. Um I don't think that we're gonna be able to get through that very quickly, but uh yeah, I think it could be quite good. I didn't want to shove it all up this time. I did that over on Goldcrest. And this time we've sort of done for a long, flat um, silo. We, um, so it's all laid out quite level. And it will be a bit more of a task to try and get it uh, tipped all in there. We might end up using like a bucket or something. And combine using a Kramer or something and shoving it up into the... Um, uh, towards the conveyor belt. Maybe we'll do it like that. I'm not quite sure yet, but we'll see. Uh, that's to come next week. I will return that one. We no longer need that one. So our John Deere there, the 3765, we have has done us proud. We've been very pleased with that one. I have got no complaints to that one whatsoever. Um, obviously, the model itself is not perfect. It's got no collision on the pickup reel. And when you have it um, unfolded and you go to unhitch it, it does topple over. But 
Those, I feel, are minor details that we can live with. We'll, we'll sort of worry about that another time. So I, I'll deal with that machinery and tidy it up before I finish up here. I've got to move the combine back to the other side and we'll carry on with our harvest over there. And then once the corn harvest is done, we'll be dealing with the sugar beet. Uh, we may even do the two together. Um, that's about it, really. So I hope that I've addressed your concerns for how this series is progressing. And it was there was a few of you that have um, expressed concerns about what they thought was happening. And I seem to be doing it and getting a little bit repetitive, maybe um, copying. You know, I'm using big machinery here and on Goldcrest and so on and so forth. So I hope that I've kind of explained my long term plan there and you're happy with it. If you would like to see any changes to how I've explained how I feel things are going to move forward, um, please head into the comment section and let us know what you'd like to see on the various different series. Uh, cattle and crops. That should be coming out soon. We don't know when. It's going into alpha. Um, <coughs> excuse me. I will be taking a look at cattle and crops. I've already bought into it. Um, Depending how that runs will depend if I start doing an ongoing series. At present, I have no plans to replace any farming simulator series with a cattle and crop series. I'm not going to completely rule that out. It depends how that game develops in comparison to this one. If I get enough people that enjoy the cattle and crops as much as they like the farming simulator, we could seriously consider dropping one series on here in favour of a series on there. Um, but that's a, a little way down the line yet, I think. I don't think we'd do that just yet because it's still in the early development stage and I don't think we want to be um, sort of committing to... to we're not going to commit to anything just yet. We'll take our first looks and then we can make our decisions. Um, that's really all I got time for. I'll tell you what, actually, I need to get the um, the mixed feeder on so that I can start preparing to put mixed feed in for the cattle. So I'll do that in a second. Um, if you've enjoyed this episode, please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. But until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.